Hey fans, what's up? This is GamerGuy7 Aces back with more Sonic Rivals 2. Oh, okay, what did I just click on? <laughs> Alright, well, uh, last time we finished on Shadow Store in Sonic Rivals 1, so now let's do Shadow and Metal Sonic's Adventure in Sonic Rivals 2. Wait, did I say 2 before or Sonic Rivals 1? Oh, well, whatever. Alright, Shadow, let's listen. Let's just get straight to it. You already know how everything goes. Same pattern, same everything. So let's Who's do this. There? I know there's somebody here, so show yourself. Long time no see, Shadow. I've been looking for you. Metal Sonic? And that voice? It's you, Doctor. Indeed. I had my little metal friend hunt you down because I need your help, Shadow. Hmm. And why should I help you? Because if you don't, this world will be destroyed. What do you mean? Fine, but once I stop them, you're telling me what you know. Metal Sonic, go after Espio. I'll find Silver. Your Shadow! What do you want with me? I'll ask the questions. Why are you here and what are you up to? Ha! Don't worry. It has nothing to do with you. Just don't get in my way. Hm. I don't think so. Alright, so now we got Shadow versus Silver. I wonder if Shadow will, you know, spin kick Silver on the head like that time in Sonic 06. Hands down, the best moment in that horrific game. But no, we get another race again. I know you guys might be tired of me doing the same level again, but it's really different when you do it with the different characters. Like, I see this as Sonic Heroes. Same level, different characters, different, different experience. A little bit. But if you look at the bright side, I'm halfway done with this. Oh, I got a bomb. Uh, yeah, Shadow's right. The end is near. The end is near with this LP. You know, I'm kind of tired of this LP, not because I'm doing the same things, because I've played this game a lot since 2007. I got Sonic Rivals 2, December of 2007. So, yeah. I've been playing this for arguably over five years. 2007 is when the game came out, so when this game came out PSP, it was really hot. Remember, 2007, that was the year when PSP was at their prime. Like, the game, PSP, PlayStation Portable, came out 2005. 2007, this console was at its prime. Like, uh, the, the DS was basically falling. PSP was, like, the, the feature. Everyone liked it, the graphics. And not only the graphics, the gameplay was good, too. It reminded me of the, the PS1, just with PS2 graphics and better, you know? But all that fell apart by 2009. I say... Oh, man. The PSP's glory lasted from 2005 to 2009. After 2009 is when they started making shitty ports on the PSP. Like, PSP is capable of doing a lot, and they just undermined it. Like, you know, PSP was getting console ports directly on it. That'll tell you how great it was, you know? Oh, man. It was like, like, Lego Batman, all the Lego games was exactly the same on the PSP as it was with the console. The only difference was just... The, the, the shininess of the of the characters, you know, because the graphics, the computer, PSP can't really handle. But everything else was exactly like the console. No graphical difference at all, if that's a word. Then it all just stopped. They started putting DS ports on the PSP. They just started undermining it. And I hated it because the PSP was like, was like the console, and it was being treated like the DS and lower. And then when they came out with the 3DS and the Vita came out, that was the end. PlayStation, in my opinion. I might upset some PlayStation fans, but I'm just, you know, telling it like it is in my opinion. The Vita is nothing compared to the uh, PSP. Wait. You know, the, the new voices actually sound a lot the same as their old characters, with the exception of Shadow and kind of Amy Rose. Like, Silver sounds the same, except his voice doesn't sound all scratchy, like, Move aside, Sonic! Like, his voice sounds more endearing. Okay, let's knock out this mofo. <laughs> nice. I know Shadow's so easy. See how fast I can get this. I like having a little... Oh, crap. Okay, I'm not about to die here. Or get knocked out. 
Okay, get frozen, Silver. Get frozen. Oh man. Oh, come on, man. Ah. Okay. Okay, this is taking longer than it should. Thank you. Let me get something done there. There. <laughs> oh, knocked him out and went all the way down. Alright, okay, so as I was saying about my little rant, was the PS Vita, I mean, completely just shitted on the PSP, you know, like, the games look nothing like the PSP, there's no UMD disc, and you can't use component cables, I mean, it's just not right. Phew, that was a close call. Display target acquired. Metal Sonic. So, does that mean Eggman is involved with this too? I don't have time to waste dealing with you. I need to find Silver. Target escaping pursuit target. So yeah, like, part of what makes a platform or handheld system thrive and become better is that you can play all the old games on the new one. Like, you don't have to completely sacrifice your old games and everything you know, with your console or handheld to play the new game. Like, that's what I love about the 3DS. I mean, you can play every single Nintendo DS game on it and more, plus the 3DS games. That's why the, the handheld is lasting this long and it will continue lasting. Because you can't just completely just forsake, you know, the previous title. That kills the game a lot more and make people hate the new console. Like, the 3DS, how bad would it be if people couldn't play DS games? Like, there's a lot of great DS games out there. Super Mario 64 Remake, uh, Son Sonic Rush, you know, there's, um, you know, there's a lot of great DS games. Uh, Sonic Colors on the DS. You know, I, I've even played some DS games, and I've never played DS games before until I got the 3DS. But the PS Vita, instead of them making it able to play PSP games on it, you, you know, you're too busy. You only play Vita games, and there's not even much great Vita games out there besides um, Uncharted and the Gravity Rush game, which came a while ago. So that's why. Aw, oh, man. I should have gone all the way down to the bones, I think. Just wasting more time, I see. <laughs> uh, and the jumping here is just so bad emulated version. But yeah, I digress. I don't want to rant much here, but that's why I did not get a PSP. I wasn't stupid enough to get a PS, uh, a PS Vita, especially that you can't use component cables to record it. You, you can't use the emulator like Joylight on PSP. You can't even record it on the TV. You have to use your camera and show the game, and I I do not want to do that. So yeah, PlayStation generally used to get their act together. The new PS4 looks really nice, but when I saw it, it just looks like a really good-looking graphic game. I didn't see anything in terms of gameplay that I liked. I don't know if Donning Wolf is listening to this, he'll be very pissed with me because he's a PlayStation fanboy, but <laughs> yeah. But that's just how I feel. Nintendo owns all. As for Xbox, Xbox is never gonna go away anytime soon. I mean Bill Gates owns Microsoft. So yeah, enough said. Bill Gates is like the richest man in the world. <laughs> so Yeah, I'm not talking much about this game because I don't really have much to say about the same levels now. Except Metal Sonic, you can copy other people's uh, abilities here. And yes. It's like every zone takes you about 10 minutes to do. I got it. See? What? Whatever. At least I'll be it. Rankings don't really... I don't care about the rankings in this, especially when you've played... The same thing uh, before. Alright, battle time with Metal Sonic. Hmm. If I can't shake you, I guess I'll just have to knock you out. Alright. <laughs> I like how like Metal Sonic just Sonic. He doesn't talk like he did in Sonic Heroes. I didn't like that. Alright, knock out his evil. No, 
come on, man. What kind of jump is this? Oh, nice. Oh, I banged him on the head. Alright. Go again. Oh, nice. I love knockout, so refreshing, you know, being up a character. And I've done it lots of times already. Alright, let's go down here. Alright, come on, one more time. Oh, come on, how do you just bounce off me like that? There. Yep, I win. Okay, that's rank. Alright. Yeah, shout out. Ho, 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 ho! Well, if it isn't Metal Sonic and my dear friend Shadow. Doctor, what are you doing here? Shadow, don't be fooled. That's not me. He's a manager. <laughs> well, if it isn't my block-headed doppelganger. Are you stuck inside your machine? So, you must be the one behind all this. Step aside, Shadow. He's mine. Well, since you're all here, my little contraption will chew you up and then have seconds. <laughs> all right. Well, we just found out that was Eggman Nega. Very early in the game, you already heard first time Eggman Nega in Sonic Rivals 2. Eggman's doppelganger, or Eggman's descendant. That means, technically speaking now, that means Dr. Eggman had kids, which means he married oh, a woman. I mean, that is like mind blown. Like, wait, Dr. Egg, Dr. Robotnik had kids? Okay. I don't know which woman would have children with him, but... Because I always thought, like, okay, but maybe he had, like, like, siblings, like a brother or sister, like Maria or something that had kids. But Maria died, like, if you see in Shadow the Hedgehog. So, and I, and there's no other siblings that Dr. Eggman has. So that means Dr. Eggman had kids. I don't know if they'll, they, they should do that in one of the future Sonic games. Just show his kids and show how Eggman, I'm looking forward for a Sonic Adventure 3 like game. Where, you know, Eggman Nega is the real villain. You know, that'll be excellent. But so far, Eggman Nega only exists in the handhelds. I want to see Eggman Nega in the main Eggman console Eggman Nega game. escaped into the woods. Metal Sonic, are you okay? I'll take that as a yes. I wonder what Eggman Nega is up to. Sorry, Shadow. There was some interference, so I couldn't communicate earlier. Eggman Nega leaked the chaos symbol for his closing plan. You must get to the before he does. But what exactly is his ultimate plan? Oh, I wonder if the radio signal works in the jungle. Metal Sonic, look! It's Rouge and Knuckles. We've got to beat them to the Emeralds. Metal Sonic, you follow Rouge and I'll go after Knuckles. Shadow? What are you doing here in the forest? Yeah, I skipped that whole part because you heard that Knuckles side. I'm not going to listen to the same, you know, lyrics again. Not the lyrics, uh, uh, di dialogue. But man, after all these years, I still love playing the PSP. Like, I still love how it feels in my hand, you know, the big white screen like you're looking at a mini TV. I, I love the PSP still. I can see why it still lasted in Japan. It just got discontinued in the Japan, I think, like last year. Yeah. And then the Americans, 
to, uh, the PSP has been dead since like 2011. In my opinion, since 2010. But yeah. And the DS, the DS games still live on through the 3DS. You know, so I've even come to appreciate the DS even more now because of the 3DS. Uh, that's what they hated the glitch about Shadow's Chaos Control. It slows you down too. What's the point of Chaos Control if you're slow yourself? Yeah, a lot of people love watching my Sonic Rivals videos. Like I've gotten great reception on this since I started this in uh, in January 12th. You know, back when I did it on the TV. So that's why I, I decided to do all the character stories, you know. I mean, I, I still like this game. I don't care what people say. You know, for the record, this game has better reviews than Sonic Generations on the 3DS. Yeah, let that sink in. Oh man. Why am I going so slow? Alright, like Sonic Generations on the... Uh, thank you. Sonic Generations on the 3DS has about a D, a, a, a D grade, while uh, Sonic Rivals 1 and 2 have like a C, C plus average. Oh, oops, I put that on. Wait, how is Knuckles ahead of me? No, you're not beating me, Knuckles. You're not beating me. Come on, how is he beating me? No, no, no. Yes. Yes! Oh, that was a close save! I was not about to lose this again. That was close. Wow. See, I think the two best power-ups in this game is Sonic's Boom, of course, uh, Sonic's Boost, and Shadow's Chaos Control. See, I just saved seconds slowing down Shadow. Wow. I mean, so slowing down Knuckles. I didn't even need to, like, listen to that whole thing. Yeah, I was supposed to get more recordings done today, but couldn't because I did a very lengthy and long recording with Sasuke in Shadow 2 on Sonic 4 Episode 2. Now, I'm reminded why I didn't like that game. I hated that game so much. I mean, it's so frustrating to play that on the computer. Come on, Knuckles. Come at me, bro. Fight me. Oh, I kicked him in the head. Oh, he will suffer a great concussion. Like, I'm not a big fan of Sonic 4 Episode 2. The level design is so lousy because they force you to use Tails, which Tails is such, you know, so so unreliable in the game. Oh man! You know what? Screw this. I'm gonna beat up Knuckles. Yeah, I'm, I'm beating up Knuckles here. I, I wanted to be a little fancy and get some power too. There, I took all your rings. There. I'm gonna play rough knuckles, I'll play rough. Shadow versus Knuckles. In a real fight who would win? Shadows. I mean like, 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 like Shadow uses his brains and he's got chaos powers. Knuckles just has strength. But I like seeing them fight in Sonic X, because it's always a tough battle because you know Knuckles is really strong. And when Knuckles uses his brains, he can actually get a lot of stuff done. And Shadow, you know, with his infinite chaos powers and everything. Sometimes I think they make him a little too powerful. I'm trying to make him like a Dragon Ball Z character. <laughs> yeah, 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 whatever. Alright. Fight Rouge or race against Rouge. No way a horse wanna beat a robot. And come on now. <laughs> okay, let's take the higher path. Oh come on, I wanna take the higher path here, man. Eh? Well whatever. <laughs> let's steal all the rings here. I hate any time users, that's when the rings don't come to you. Oh nice. Wait, let's, yeah. Okay, let's just take higher paths here. No, I'm gonna go to the top there. Oh, come on, I'm gonna go to ah. Okay, this is very annoying now. Oh 
I'm not slow yet, Rouge. I wouldn't count on that. He's having some, some difficulties reaching higher path there. Okay, I don't want Rouge to beat me now. No, no time to fool around. Okay, I hear Rouge. He's right there. But call me that Rouge. I'm not slow, Pope. You're the slow, Pope. Alright, <laughs> told you I'd beat you. Oh man, Bruce is gonna beat me here. Oh man, Bruce is gonna beat me! No! Ah, oh, Dang it, now I gotta do this again. Uh, well, I'll see you guys later. Okay, now we went here. <laughs> oh, new record too, nice. Alright. Let's continue. Games. It's just, it's so tedious. You have to like wait for three minutes. Oh, uh. Nope. Alright, let's just tag her. Alright, now let's get out of here. Oh, come on, man. Right, take your time here. Alright, just stay right here. Ah, <laughs> goodbye, Rose. Goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like going through all these. <laughs> oh, that's so refreshing. Oh, come on. I don't want to fall to. Alright. And it's nice how you don't have to position the power ups at your opponent. You can just shoot them and they'll automatically follow them. Oh, come on, man. The jumping here is so lazy. Look at that. Look at the jumping there. I. Oh, that was so frustrating. Oh, well, at least I got her. Alright. Okay, good. Alright. I hate tag. At least I didn't get tag. Alright, the boss. You don't want to repeat a level again. <laughs> now, what do we have here? A little forest expedition? Is that the doctor? Metal Sonic, which one of those eggheads is that? Come on, not again. Hand it over, Eggman. I'm losing my patience. If that's the way you feel, why not test your patience against my latest invention? Could it be him? Come on, Metal Sonic. We've got to beat them to it. Okay, so Shadow starting to suspect could that be Eggman? Uh the real Dr. Eggman or Eggman Nega? Shadow still doesn't know what world Eggman Nega is from or the complete story behind him, which we'll find out in Shadow in Espio's adventure. I think Shadow Espio's partnership is one of the coolest partnerships in Sonic games. Because I mean you would never think Silver I mean Silver. You never think Silver would partner with the Chaotix member. You think it'd be Knuckles. Up here. No, get out of here, Knuckles. Get out. Get out of here, Knuckles. I don't want to see you around here. Yes, I don't think so. Oh, man. Damn you, Knuckles. 
I, mean, I should have just jumped on him. Because I actually found a way to... Oh, man. Oh, dang it. Come on, Knuckle. Stop that. Yes. Gotta hit it two more times. No, I'm not letting you get that, Knuckles. No, 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 no. Knuckles actually got him. <laughs> get out of here, Knuckles. Ah! Man, this is gonna be tough than I thought. Oh, man. Okay, just now here one more time. Ah, oh, man, how how did I miss that? Oh. There, got you. Ah, oh, man. I'm trying to speed run this. <laughs> Okay. Let's see how many uh Okay.